Brian and Lloyd Macedo Sweeney from LloydMacedo.com, who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding. Today, the date is, what's the date? Uh, 19th November 2017. Time right now is 124. Okay. Now, uh, just wanted to share with you my thoughts on men, women, and sex because I keep getting this topic. I keep getting people who are sending me, Loy, you know, the guy's in love with me, he gives me these romantic dialogues. Oh, Loy, she's so beautiful. I'm in love with her, uh, and all that. And Loy, when I look into her eyes, oh, there is this sparkle and all that stuff. So I just thought I'll put up a video of men, women, and sex. Now, one thing keep in mind, okay, please keep in mind. When a man or a woman wants you, both men and women, when they want you, they want you because they see some benefit. They see some benefit out of having you in their life. If they saw you as a liability, let's say, for example, you had only one hand or you're paralyzed ah, this way, you're paralyzed or you had AIDS or you're, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're unemployed and you're totally a bum, you're useless, you're into smoking, drinking and drugs. Nobody would want you. Nobody would want you. If you are half paralyzed and you are lying in bed uh, this way, nobody would want you. If, if, if you have mental problems and you are in the hospital or you have cancer, unless you are rich, you are filthy rich, nobody would want you. Okay? People only want you when they see you as they are at this level. They see you, oh, at this level, then they want you. So, men normally want women. Men normally want women only when the girl looks hot and sexy, okay? The girl should have nice pair of breasts, nice body, nice... Because men, the first thing men think about is sex. Whether you like it or not, this is a fact. Men, when they see women, the first point of interest is the visual appearance. So she looks good, she smells good, she appears good. Then he starts thinking about sex. He starts thinking, okay, if I have sex with her, she will do this, she'll bend down, she'll be in this way, that way. They think of all the Kama Sutra positions possible and they think of wild, crazy stuff. So that is why men always give these romantic dialogues. Oh, I just can't stop doing it with you. You know, uh, I I want to do everything with you and I want us to go crazy in the night and uh, I want... Uh, I, I, I and, and they'll give you stuff which, you know, which normal people will not say, I want you to come all over my face. I want my tongue in this area, that area. I, I want to taste your this and that. And I want you to taste mine. You know, all this is nice because men are normally, you know, when they get horny, blood rushes down to the lower head. So blood is not up here. So they stop thinking logically. Okay. However, when a man finishes sex after, you know, uh, you know, having great passionate crazy sex for five and mine is normally three minutes now it has reduced to just two minutes or three minutes yeah before it used to be half an hour one hour whatever those days okay testosterone reduced so after a man finishes having sex for however long 15 minutes one hour whatever after that the first thing a man will do is uh, leave me alone i'm too hot uh, he he wouldn't want to hug you unless he loves you if he loves you he'll hug you most of the men uh, just leave me uh, i want to be left alone because a man feels hot but the woman wants to hug him but a man will say no after that, after that, the man will talk sense. He will not say, I want to taste your this and that, your body fluids. He will not say that. He'll say, I want to have a nice cup of coffee. I want to have a proper pizza. He will eat something nice, taste something nice. He doesn't want you. Okay. He will not say, I want you to be in, my, in, a, you know, in front of my face, sit on my face and be 24 hours. No, he doesn't want you. He doesn't want you. He, he needs space because he's finished. His stomach is full. He doesn't want you anymore. Okay, so that's how men are. Okay, um, and men only want you when you're hot, when your sex is really good, and you are ready to be, like, let's say, a submissive maid, ready to do everything that he wants. If you're not ready to do this, a man doesn't want you. Okay, so man wants his ego to be up there. That's man. Now, woman. Ninety-nine point nine 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 percent of the women want a man who's better than them, smarter than them, who can give them security, who can give them happiness, who is like uh, he's Chris Hemsworth with the bank account of Bill Gates and uh, uh, you know the wealth of uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, and they want someone with the character of Christ and who's a bad boy in the night. So they want a perfect guy. That is why most of the women are single. Okay. Guys normally enjoy with them, play with these sweet words and then dump them. Girls always, they will justify 
their choices by saying, Oh, I love him. I gave him my heart and my soul. I gave him my body, but he dumped me. They will never tell you. They'll always give you this boo-hoo-hoo sob story. But they'll never tell you, Oh, I chose this guy because he was so rich. He was so wealthy that I couldn't get any guy like him. They'll never tell you that. They'll tell you, I just loved him from the bottom of my heart. Girls will always go for a guy who's very rich. Very, very important. Ma majority of the girls will go for a guy who's very, very rich. Uh, and they'll give the bullshit that I'm searching for someone with a good heart, good character, who, who wants a family, and all that bullshit. You'll never see, see uh, the girls who say, I want a guy with a good heart, good character, good whatever. Why don't you go for the building watchman? Why don't you go for the fish cleaner? Why don't you go for the sweeper? Why don't you go for the guy who cleans your toilet? Now, why don't you go for a fruit seller? No, you'll never go for those kind of guys. You'll never go for a guy with a pot belly and a scruffy face and who, you know, you'll never go for a guy who is uh, standing as a security guard somewhere. No, you'll only go for a guy who is, uh, you, you know, the perfect epitome of what you see in the movies, okay? Six pack abs and lots of money, successful career. That's why if a guy flashes his card as a CEO and he drives a Maserati or a Rolls Royce, the girl will fall in love with him very easily. They will claim, no, I look for a guy with character. That's all bullshit, okay? That's why girls go for even bad boys. They go for guys who are, who, they literally want someone who can give them security and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. The reason being is when a girl gets full tank, as my mentor used to say, full tank means they get pregnant and they're useless and they have to sit in the bed and lie down and they can't do anything. Uh, so they want a man who can take care of them, give them one servant for them, one servant for their baby, one servant for the house. They can be a queen. That's what most of the women want, which is not wrong, which is not wrong. Okay. Because... Once a woman gives birth to a baby, her stomach is cut open and her body is cut open. She no longer can look like a Kim Kardashian. Okay, her breast will sag down onto uh, onto her knees at one point of time. Whatever implants that she had, they look stiff, and the rest of the face looks ah this way. So, women have a short shelf life. So they want a guy who's filthy rich. That's and give them a great security, has a great business. That's what women want, and it's not wrong. So. And when a woman wants you, she'll be like a cat. She'll go meow, meow. She will keep purring and rubbing herself and her tail next to your legs. And she will do whatever you want. I have known girlfriends who, when they wanted me, when they really wanted me, I'm sitting down doing my work. The girl will go down on her knees, unzip me and start sucking on my small little boy. Okay. Uh, they would say, uh, and there are girls who, I'm telling you, I'm not even exaggerating. There were girls who, I'm lying down in the bed all of a sudden, I'm wondering what's going on. She is sleeping next to my private parts and she is literally smooching my private parts saying, Law, you mean the world to me. And I was like, Law is up here. Why are you going down there? You know? And I've had girls, I'm not exaggerating. I've had girls who literally uh, went down on their knees, kissed my feet, my foot, kissed my foot and said, Lord, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please, I beg you, don't leave me. And the very same girl, when she found someone better, dumped my ass like as if it, it was like a, a leech, you know? So when women want you, they'll be very sweet, very nice. And the best weapon women have is tears. Uh, they will cry, give you soft stories and all that bullshit. So please don't fall for this. Please don't fall for this. Okay. So with regards to men, when men want you, they will do anything and everything from you, from cut their hands and write with blood. Even nowadays, girls do this. They just put cuts and cuts and cuts. You know, it's very simple. You can just keep putting cuts and they'll show you blood. You know, if you really want to cut, don't cut here. Just slice it and finish. That is called real blood. Not this. What's, what's that stupidity? What are, you, what are you trying to do? So this baby cuts, anyone can do and showing the blood. This is all nonsense. Okay. Uh, guys, when they want you, they will stand down your building, uh, wait for you for hours and hours, four hours, five hours, until you come down. It's like just for a vagina, you're ready to do all this. However, how much of a particular dish can you eat? How much of pizza can you eat? You will eat four or five slices. You will eat three times a day. You will eat one month continuous non-stop pizza and then you'll get fed up. That's the same thing with love. Guys get fed up of girls. And if the sex is crazy, if the passion is crazy, and if the love is... It's, it's, it's not even normal. That relationship 100% is going to break. So if the sex and the passion is crazy, it 100% breaks up because it's not possible to be sustained. Uh, you know, it's not possible to sustain. And girls who are 
very sweet with loving words and doing whatever they can to keep you happy uh, it is because you as a man you are at a much better position so what i think of men's women and sex i i think love is a very dangerous very dangerous feeling because love we like to you know kind of associate it with the with the movies it's a magic it's it's all rubbish okay once you get married after a couple of years whatever love whatever emotion feeling that you have the more intense it is in terms of sex the more you'll hate each other and you'll end up in a divorce please never get married when you're on this high especially for emotions and feelings remember a lot of importance goes into money a lot of importance goes minus the sex minus the attraction into the day to day if you cannot be yourself if your partner wants to change you if your partner is demanding and you have to beg that relationship is not meant to be and most important of all which i'll tell you in terms of uh, love is if you believe you are in love and you fell in love you will fall out of love and uh, you will not be in love anymore love is a logical decision you need to be very smart about it and you need to be very safe so i hope this answers doubts about love men women and sex and keep in mind sex is just as normal as hunger too much of it will make you sick uh, sick less of it will make you desperate so keep that in mind anyway this is lloyd from lloydmesida.com who's lloyd mesida and think bus branding please send me your questions to lloyd lloydmesida.com you want to make a payment also also paypal to lloyd lloydmesida.com 1 5 10 dollars whatever i really appreciate and if you want my services go to thinkpersonalbranding.com this is me lloydmesida saying goodbye for now okay